Hi everybody, if a minus b times b minus c times c minus a divided by a plus b times b plus c times c plus a is equal to 2010 divided by 2011, then we need to find the value of a divided by a plus b plus b divided by b plus c plus c divided by c plus a. You may have seen this problem on many websites and this is a really amazing problem and the amazing part about that we even didn't use any mathematical identity for solving that but still it's really very hard due to the manipulation of many different variables and giving you highly focus on each and every term or variables and this makes this problem very insane. So first you please give your trial to this question and keep watching for the solution. Now we have given this and after making some pairs for the opening of parentheses like this we got this and after mo furthermore opening of parentheses we got this and opening more we got this and after cost multiplying them we got this and on RHS side we cancel ABC with this ABC and on RHS side we add these two ABCs. So after this we got this and I make the extra spaces between them to show you something. Now we make these common pair terms like this minus 211 AC square on RHS side of 2010 C square A and furthermore you can see this by colored lines. And after simplifying them more, you got something like this. And this is basically the simpler form of our given information. Now we need to find this. Let this be equal to something called this x. So after taking the common LCMs, you got this. And this is looking quite complicated. And this looks insanely complicated when you see all the parentheses for getting our required information. So here we go for opening the parenthesis. So first opening the square parenthesis and after this all you got this and after opening the squares, squares parenthesis so you got this. And after opening the all parenthesis in our denominator you got this. Now in our this required information take it on the top of the page. You are able to see some common terms like abc we have three abc's and b a square we have two b a squares and we have c square a we have these two and we have b square c we also have these two and on denominator we have two abc's and after solving this you got something like this now looking in these common terms in denominator and numerator this will be something like our first equation which we got after breaking down our given information. So this is c square b plus a square c plus b square a is equal to 4020 abc plus 4021 c square a plus 4021 b square c plus 4021 a square b. So now putting this value in our, our information so you got something like this and from here I am able to see our final answer. So here we go on the top. So again we are going to find some common terms like 2ba square plus 4021a square b and similarly 2ac square plus 4021c square a. So we have 2b square c plus 4021b square c and finally we have 3abc plus 4020abc and on a denominator we have 2abc and plus 4020abc and we have a square c plus 4021c square a and we have c b square plus 4021b square c and finally we have a square b plus 4021a square b and after adding these all you got this and from the numerator take 423 as common and from the denominator take 422 as common. Now we have a square b plus c square a plus b square c plus a b c as common in both numerator and denominator so we can cancel this out. So what we have is x is equal to 423 divided by 422 
and this is the information that we need to find. So if a minus b times b minus c times c minus a divided by a plus b times b plus c times c plus a is equal to 2010 divided by 2011, then a divided by a plus b plus b divided by b plus c plus c divided by c plus a is equal to 4023 divided by 4022. And that is our correct answer. I hope you all enjoyed this problem. I know it's take lots of calculation, but manipulating them is the best part about this problem. And here we end.